Welcome to the Glass Bowl in Toledo, Ohio, home to the Toledo Rockets. A full house is in store, and so too, a terrific matchup in this one. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport. A rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see a squad from the back, the Bowling Green Falcons. Squaring off with another team from the map, the Toledo Rockets. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. The Rockets will put total leather and we'll get started. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So the Bowling Green Falcons offense will get the first possession of the game. These rivalry games can really get the blood pumping, and we'll see who can manage their emotions best early. Everyone's been waiting for this game, right? You know both of these teams have had this game circled all the way back to the beginning of the offseason, so you've got to be able to play under control. With passion, with energy, with hatred, because it's a rivalry game, but keep your emotions in check and making sure I'm controlling what I can control. They'll knock him down after a six-yard gain to the 27. Opening drive of the game, and they're facing third and one. They'll turn to the jet sweep to try to convert. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The Falcons will send out the punt unit. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. So Toledo's offense will go to work for the first time today. And they seem to believe that they can take big plays away and man coverage by just locking them up in this matchup, David. Yeah, and it's hard to lock down a great wide receiver, but a great defensive back versus a great wide receiver, we got to show that. Yeah, let's be honest, David. Most defenses don't have a dude like that at cornerback that could do that in a game like this. But this matchup is unique, and it's going to really determine the outcome of the game. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. It'll be a draw. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And the Rockets will punt this one away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Opening play of this drive comes from the 34. Looking to throw, it's Bazelak. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He's looking to throw. With the catch, it's Hogan. He's brought down quickly, minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. Let's see what they do on third down. Looking to throw. They're setting up the screen. At midfield, he's got room. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Running it to the right. He breaks a tackle. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. The handoff as they run the counter play here. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. And the Falcons are flying down the field. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Got stuffed on first down, it's second and ten. They'll leave it with him. And this one will be stopped for no gain. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. And the quarterback runs out of time, and down he goes at the 38. On third and long, you know what's coming. It's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. The Falcons send out the punt unit. 
This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the ball will bounce at the four and find its way into the end zone for a touchback. The Rockets offense is back on the field. The give, and he's looking for room behind the left tackle. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. To throw, it's Gleason. Feeling some heat. A strike downfield. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Using his legs, it's Stewart. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Now they'll run the draw. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still, just a very short game. Now facing a third and long from the 50-yard line. Makes the grab on the left. On the move at the 30. And they are finding some space in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback, finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Torres. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. The Rockets have taken it inside the 20. Now the play fake. He's got it and still on his feet. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. They keep attacking through the air. Into the end zone. And they can't connect, but the flag flies, and I think this is going to be pass interference. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. Quarterback on the keeper. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. After getting knocked back, it's second and goal from the four. He's going to the right, looking for a path to the end zone. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. They keep pushing forward down to the three, but now it's third and goal. Looking for the score! And he was trying to cash in in the end zone in this red zone threat, but it's incomplete. They'll try to put three on the board as the field goal unit comes on. It is perfect. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Bowling Green has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and gone. Keeps it moving for a three-yard gain to the 24. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Snagged in the middle, H. Garcia. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. The lone back's got it. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. They feed him again. 
They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality. Offensive line gets to assert themselves. Run block, which they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. Lining up, trying to convert this third and short from the 40. Looking downfield, it's Bazelak. Throws to the wideout. Got his man downfield. And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. And the Falcons have their offense in high gear. Running back searching for a hole. Aaron is trying to flex the muscle. They get him down at the 34 after a pickup of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Receiver going for the edge on the jet sweep. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Eighth play of the drive coming. It'll be a third and six. With the catch, it's Garcia. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. The Falcons come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Tight end finds a soft spot. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. He wants to pass it on second down. He's got it on the move. He's all the way down to the two-yard line. Just spectacular execution there. And the Falcons have it with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Falcons. Follow the blockers. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and, you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. He'll start this drive firing. Trying to get to him. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. Man, a lot of coaches talk about starting the drive positive and a first play that can get you going. The QB just kept backing up and going backwards, and that is not the start to the drive they were looking for. So just how aggressive can they afford to be as they snap it on second and long from the 13? Quick handoff. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the 7. Yeah, and the defensive lineman, you know, third and long situations. I'm rushing the quarterback. You bring in the nickel, a little bit more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack on third down. And the Rockets will bring the punt team onto the field. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. So from the shadow of his goal post, he gets the punt away. And the returner will be dragged down. Bowling Green has it back. The Falcon offense will go to work. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Pollock. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. He makes a catch, and he'll haul it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Bowling Green! 
Well, when you call the wheel route, you need to have the right matchup, and that time they did. It was the linebacker on the running back, one-on-one. -on -one. He uses his speed, beat him to the outside, and that's about as easy as it can get. Lining up to add another. And the extra point makes it 14-3. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. The kickoff unit about to go to work. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. First down for this offense. Hand off from the gun. Brought down at the 28, but it's a 10-yard gain. Now on first down from the 28. Wide receiver shows motion. Trying to find his man on first down. Pulls it in. He found plenty of room, and he gets it to the 39-yard line. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. The Rockets come to the line in the hurry up. Looking downfield, it's Gleason. Unloads it downfield. And he gets the foot down. It's a catch deep along the left sideline. Man, if I'm a defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. And the Rockets line it up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Can the D deny them on second and goal? He's looking to throw. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. This whole red zone offense thing has been a little shaky. They've been stopped twice already. Maybe they ought to try to score from deep. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Rockets! And it's so underrated. The, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing in the game because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now in game. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Bowling Green has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. You want to talk about answering each other's score. That's what we have going on right now, Jesse. Yeah, and this offense, it's been impressive just seeing how well they've been executing, too, because they're playing with a sense of urgency, David. They know they've got to go score a touchdown every time they take the field. It's like a tennis match. You're just trying to break serve at some point, just back and forth. Both offenses having a lot of success in this football game. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. The receiver on the jet sweep. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Jet sweep to the receiver. Turns it on in midfield. And perhaps a touchdown saving tackle as he gets him down at the 37. I love jet sweeps because it puts so much pressure on defenses with their eye discipline. It's really hard for these linebackers and DBs and defensive ends to locate a really fast receiver 
cutting across the formation so quickly, getting the handoff. And you see that time, he's able to use the speed to go get the first. Wide receiver coming across in motion. The gift to the back. Just enough room to gain a couple down to the 34. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Might as well stick with him. Just not willing to take the hit. He delivers it and gets to the 27. Here comes third and short from the 27. This defense trying to make them settle for a field goal. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. The Falcons pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Unloads it left. Got his man. Gets out of bounds after the big play, and they'll be set up in business with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. After getting nothing done on first down, second and goal from the six. The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Looking to throw on third and goal. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, BG. You want to keep your offense on the field? Wear down the defense? Put that tape on and show it in a clinic. That's the way it's done. And as a defense, man, there's nothing more demoralizing. You can handle it when you give up three, but to give up the touchdown at the end of a long drive, you're already exhausted. You've already been pumped. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. And they take another look at the play, but the officials on the field were right, and the play will stand. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. So it's an 80-yard drive. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Guys, let's see what Toledo can get done on offense this time. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. Pulls and throws off the RPO. And he was able to run through a tackle, and they finally get him, but not until he picks up the first down. He'll keep it himself. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. Kept it on the ground last time. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. On the run, it's Stewart. And here's the tackle at the line of scrimmage, and that'll send us to the second quarter. While we're only through one, these quarterbacks have been lighting up their stat lines. Now the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. Off play action. Just a short pass to the tight end. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. The Rockets come to the line with a new set of downs. Makes the grab. It's Newton. Across the 25, he's got room. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a rhythm. And the Rockets headed quickly to the line.
He'll pull it on the read. He'll be down at the four-yard line after that terrific run. First and goal and a touchdown here really gives him momentum. They'll try to get it in with the run. And to the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Toledo. Now that's the way to bail out the rest of the team. Start with bad field position, put together a drive anyway. And very confident. You can see the quarterback just had a bit of a swagger, Reese. He was like, look, all right, we're starting deep in our own end. Special teams didn't help us out, but we can fix that right now, fellas. They went out and looked so good on that last drive. The AT unit on the field. And they tack on the extra point to cut the lead to 21-17. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Looking for blockers. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Bowling Green has it back. The Falcon offense will go to work. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth, and I got to score, and every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a quarterback? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you for sure to feel like I got to make every third down throw. If guys are open vertically down the field, I got to hit them too. We can't let our serve get broken. Fires to the tight end. And they stop him just short of the stick. It'll bring up a decision on fourth down. And the Falcons line up to punt it away. That one's going to go out of bounds, and it'll be dead at the 35-yard line. The offense lining up for a first down play. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Got a man. It's Stevens. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to test that run defense to the right here. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Dropping back, it's Gleason. Working that left side now. And he's brought down after a nice game. Offense lines up for a first and ten from the 43. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Caught behind the line. It's Newton. Finds a crease at the 20. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. Now the chance to pay off that big play from just outside the five. He'll set up to throw. He wants it all. He makes the catch at the end zone. Touchdown, Rockets has to be better on the back end. They knew this offense was going to come out and they were going to challenge them. They were going to try to push the ball vertically down the field. They've now given up two touchdown passes in this game. They have got to shore up their play in the back half. On to attempt the try. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the returner will be knocked down. Bowling Green has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Fires to the big fella. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. And on second down for this offense. 
Wide out in motion. The give to the tailback. Stopped after a pickup of four. Good run to get it out to the 34. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Back to throw. It's Bazelak. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. The give to the single back. And he could not get loose on the run. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Ball is at the 41 as this defense tries to force the punt on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Pocket starts to collapse. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Pretty nice as a defense, right? When you can go nickel, put five DBs on the field, and not have to blitz anyone, trusting your front four to get the job done on third down, and they do it right there, getting the sack. The Falcons will call on their punt team. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. I wouldn't quite call it a shank, but that's not exactly going to go on the resume reel. And the returner is stopped. Toledo has the ball. Here comes the offense. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. And it was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. Motion from the offense. To the air, it's Gleason. Going for it all. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Toledo! Yeah, and that's simple, but it's not easy. It's a go route. Like, the, that, that receiver's streaking straight down the outside of the field. And my job as a quarterback is to put that ball up in the air, keep it away from the safety. He does just that. The receiver comes down with the catch. Nice pitch, nice catch, touchdown. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee, and they'll bring it to the 25. Bowling Green has it back. The Falcon offense will go to work. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops falling and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. And the Falcons are moving quickly down the field. Out of the gun, the give to the back. He locked up and held on to bring him down. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Dropping back, it's Bazelak. And he just threw that one away. Safe move, didn't see anything, lived to play another play. They'll try to move the chains on this third and long from the 50. Fires to the wideout. Complete downfield. Just what they'd hoped for on third down as they've got a first at the 32. The Falcons come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Discards a man. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. 
Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Caught in the backfield. It's Hogan. He's brought down solid. Pick up but a little bit short of the first down. They're trying to extend this already long drive. The ninth play is a third and three. Looking to throw for it. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. That is no good. Guys, that field goal couldn't loom large. Missing an opportunity to get within a touchdown. We're still sitting on a 10-point game. The Rockets offense is back on the field. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. They're trying to get to it. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Back to throw. It's Gleason. Unloads to the wideout. Makes the grab. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Here's a quick throw out to the left. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. Looking for a crease. It's Stewart. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll throw it on first down. They're bringing heat. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. After misfiring, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Little too much juice on that one from the junior. They've got the ball at midfield, but they're facing a third and long. Gives it to the back on the draw. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. The Rockets will punt it away on fourth down. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. Bowling Green has it back and they'll send the offense onto the field. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But, Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. Wow, this offense is doing nothing. They've already punted four times and staring at the possibility of a fifth. Pressure coming. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. And the Falcons will line up to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Boy, that seemed to be prime return territory. Instead, he'll make the fair catch. The offense set for a first down play. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Back to pass. It's Gleason. Unloads to the right. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He'll do it himself. Maybe a three-yard pickup there, third and long, coming up. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Grab near the sticks. It's Stevens. They'll finally get him on the ground, but not before he makes it to the 30 and gets a first down. The inside handoff. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. 
on the move. It's Stewart. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Already in chip shot field goal range at the 21, but this third and short, they're still thinking touchdown. Dumps it off in the flat. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. And the Rockets are marching down the field. Run in the red zone. It's Stewart. Fights his way ahead. They get him down after a pickup of three. They'll mark it at the 12. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Quarterback feeling the pressure, and down he goes at the 22. Nice coverage on the back end. Great job. Nothing open right away. The QB holds the ball in the pocket, and the pass rush finally gets home. Sometimes it's the DBs doing great work. Sometimes it's the defensive lineman winning up front. And they'll send out the kicker to try a field goal. He's already put three on the board earlier this time, a 38-yard try. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And they'll push that lead out a little further. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Bowling Green has it back. The Falcon offense will go to work. On the run, it's Stewart. Finds a little bit of space, gets three to the 22. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. Now after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. They'll try to power their way ahead. The Falcons will keep this drive going. Now on first down from the 30. Fast motion from the offense. Got him looking run. He wants to throw. Complete to the right. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. Hey, the defense knew coming into this one this guy was going to be a factor, but they have done nothing to stop him. They don't have any answers. This guy already has over 100 yards receiving, and we're not even done the half. And the Falcons will line it up on first and ten. From the gun, they'll try the middle. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Last play didn't go well. It leaves him with second and 11. Power football with the run. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Here they come up to the 23-yard line, not thinking field goal, wanting to convert this third and short. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. And they decide to trot out the kicker. It's good. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. The returner will field it and bring it back. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Guys, let's see what Toledo can get done on offense this time. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake. 
but maintain your aggressive play calling. Yeah, no doubt. I think it's the play caller right now just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here, baby. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field. Just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football, and we got the lead. To the air, it's Gleason. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about. And they got him for the sack. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they built a lead. These guys are bringing serious heat. They are like sharks swarming and just getting after the passer. Getting some heat. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The defense is going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. The Falcons decide to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Makes a catch. Wants to make a move upfield. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. A first down for the offense. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Using the quick game. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Going up top on first down. Fires on the move. It's caught. They make the stop at the five-yard line, and they've got it first and goal. Well, we need this quarterback to put up some monster numbers. He is putting on a clinic in this game. He now has over 400 yards per missing. This offense has been a juggernaut, and they have a chance to pad their total just before halftime. Back to throw, it's Gleason. Fires into the end zone. And he's on his way. He'll go all the way. Touchdown, Rockets! A score for the big fella here. Why are tight ends so effective in the red zone? Well, these aren't the guys that are going to burn by you and go for 70 most of the time. But when you can use their big body frames, threaten them to run the football and be a blocker in the running game, and now you slip them in the secondary, make that big play. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. Fielded in the end zone, it's Patterson. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Bowling Green has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. These guys have taken some body blows in the first half, and now a chance to do something to feel a little better going into halftime. Reese, they got to respond now. They, they, they got to put points on the board right here, cut into this deficit, create a little bit of momentum, because this one's going to get out of hand otherwise. Yeah, there are a lot of offenses out there that might just say, okay, let's just regroup and figure it out. This offense doesn't have time to do that. They've got to be aggressive. They've got to throw it downfield. They've got to score points. On second down, just keeps firing. Got it in the middle. It's Hogan. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. And the Falcons will snap it on first and ten. He wants to throw. Coming after it. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. After the misconnection, it's second down. 
throws to the wideout. Wide open downfield. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And it's third down, but they're going to go ahead and try the field goal and try to get points before the break. And that is no good. Hoping that a field goal could give you a little bolt of energy, but instead you look up and the scoreboard still says you're down by 17. Well, that's now the second missed field goal for this kicker. And I'll tell you this, he can't blame the weather for all this. This is a beautiful day. He needs to do better executing these field goals. One more snap coming before halftime. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. The give to the back. And after that short game, they'll head to the locker room for halftime. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower, and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Toledo has the ball. Here comes the offense. Trying to set the tone on the ground in the third. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot it at the 37. They really got things moving on this drive. Second play of the drive comes from the 37. It's a draw. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. On the ground, it's Stewart. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. Finds his tight end. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down, and now they have to make a call. The Rockets will try to pin them back with the punt. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. That thing was down for a while, but the big bounce carried it into the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. Bowling Green has it back. The Falcon offense will go to work. Going to the running game. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Catch in the middle. It's Hogan. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. They'll try to run for it. He'll make a play on third down. He's got enough for the first as they mark it at the 32. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. To the ground. He's got it again. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Out of the gun. They'll run it inside. Listen, his team's obviously down in this game. But it's not his fault. I mean, this guy showed up to play. He's been churning out big play after big play. Already over 100 yards rushing in this game. He's carrying his weight. He needs his buddies around him now to pick up the slack a little bit and help get this team back in the game. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. Grabbed behind the line, it's Garcia. Open space at the 25. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. I'll tell you, this quarterback has just been in a great rhythm all game long. With that last completion, he's now over 300 yards passing.
The Falcons have it with a first and ten. They want to run it left here. Fighting off the defender. And he fights his way forward, gets away from one, but not much doing on that one. Back to pass, it's Bazelak. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And that ball is intercepted at the goal line. And after the interception and the turnover, this defense has set its offense up for business. I love when people start to understand what we're doing defensively. If they're going to pass the football and that's where they're going to live, well, I'm going to live and dime. I'm going to bring more defensive backs on the field so I can cover more of these speed guys that they have out there. Great job by the defensive back, breaking on the football, making the INT, making the DC look very smart. The Rockets offense is back on the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. This is the kind of performance, guys, that sort of etches your name in the roar of a rivalry. And playing big in this big moment, on this big stage, it is so nice to have a playmaker like that that you can highlight, that you can focus on, that you can trust in. He was so excited coming into this game, too, because he knows that oftentimes your legacy as a player is defined by how you play in rivalry games like this. See what they dial up on first and ten. Used to play fake, now to throw. Makes a connection. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. They go to the ground. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Got three on first down at second and seven. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal gain. It's third down, and the line to gain is the 36. Looking to throw, it's Gleason. Unloads to the wideout. And they can't make the play on third down. And the Rockets will send out the punt unit. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. How about this? It's out of bounds inside the 10, and they're going to mark it right around the five-yard line. What a great job there. Leaves it with the running back. Strong run and useful. Picks up four out to the nine. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Trying play action. Gets it out fast. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. Nudges ahead for one out to the 16. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. They'll run the screen. Oh, what a move! They'll make the stop, but not before they use the screen beautifully and pick up the first down. And they executed that running back screen to perfection. Quarterback held on to it. He let the rush get to him. Offensive lineman got out in position, and the running back sold it, too. Once he had the ball in his hands, he just had blockers and green field out in front of him. They pick up an explosive play on a running back screen. And the Falcons are moving quickly down the field. From the gun, the running back looking for room. And the ball squirted out. And he was able to get back on top of his own fumble. 
And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. They'll go to the ground. Oh, that move is going to leave them dizzy. The Falcons have it with a first and ten. Wide receiver shows motion. Looking to go up top on first down. Throws for the tight end. It's caught downfield. And he makes a completion there. Set up and in business at the 20. Got it behind the line. It's Garcia. The defense wouldn't let him loose. And even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Got some work to do on second down after that last one. They need 13. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. They'll go to the air on third and short. Makes the catch. It's Patterson. And they gave him no chance to get loose, and they force a fourth down. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Guys, let's see what Toledo can get done on offense this time. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead. The last he lost one down the sideline. Snags it down the right side. Touchdown, Toledo! And they take it in for six more points. They've extended this lead, guys, but sometimes in a rivalry game, you get down and you fight back that much harder. Man, you've seen crazy comebacks and crazy swings of momentum in rivalry games. You just need that first thing to break your way, Paul. And I think it really comes down to their key playmakers, David. They can come back, but these guys need to take ownership. Now's the time. In this type of game, they have got to step up and start making plays. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Bowling Green has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. Looking to throw, it's Bazelak. He makes the connection. Tackled immediately after the catch. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision-making. He's got to be dialed in because defensively you're giving up points. So it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang quickly. He's going to pass. That's caught. It's Garcia. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Now after the short completion, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Fires into traffic. It's picked off. Not a lot of room the return but he'd already gotten the most important thing the ball and they have it at the 46. what a nice catch by the defensive back listen a lot of times you see dbs get in position to make plays but there's a reason they play db and not wide receiver great job finishing the interception catching the ball making a big play toledo 
has the ball. Here comes the offense. Boy, that last touchdown, the one play, quick strike score. Jesse, this offense hoping to keep that kind of explosiveness going. And I don't know if they're going to get the same looks defensively because of just how explosive that play was, Reese. David, they may be seeing a little bit more uh, off coverage on this drive and maybe some softer boxes to run into. And when you make that kind of explosive play, you're going to put the defense on its heels. They're going to be a little bit more conservative. So this offensive approach now, maybe I don't have to go deep. I can go a little bit shorter and just make those easy plays underneath. They'll throw it on first down. Shoots it to the left. And he got a hand in there. Knocks it away incomplete. Now second and ten. They run the reverse. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. This is a third and long. Looking to throw and he needs a chunk play. Got it set up on the outside. They played that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. And this kicker is turning into old reliable. He's already knocked through a couple today. Good right down the boulevard. And that lead grows even bigger. just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Bowling Green has it back. The Falcon offense will go to work. They face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse, down 24, but if they're going to climb it, this is a good time to start. Sense of urgency has got to be big right here. You just get the feeling at this point of the game, David, they've got to score on this drive. Obviously, their defense needs to get stops, but at this point, offensively, they've got to execute much better. they, they got to be super aggressive. Down 24, you're going to need three touchdowns, three two-point conversions, everything to kind of go your way. So fast and throw in the football. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. Quickly to the tight end. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Offense gets set for second down. It's a draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. What a nice job on the ground, working his way ahead for seven yards and leaving them with fourth and short. They're about two yards away. Hauls it in, looking for space. Looking everywhere for room to run, but really good coverage, and he'll step out of bounds. From the gun, running back on the move. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. Off the bootleg, wants to toss it. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Looking to pass. It's Gleason. Fires to the wideout. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense. And now it's fourth down. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Bowling Green has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Dragged down after a pickup of five out to the 35. 
Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Got the quick pass. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. And the Falcons will snap it on first and ten. Use the play fake, now to throw. Unloads to the wideout. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. They've got it at the 36 on first and 10. They'll give it to the back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe, second and seven. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. Goes to the option. They get him stopped after a pickup of five to the 28. They'll snap it from the 28 in field goal range, but it's third and short. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. Just drives it between the uprights. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Rockets offense is back on the field. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead, Palmer. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. Now facing a third and long. Looking for a man. It's Gleason. Got his man quickly. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. The Rockets will punt this one away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. And the offense out on the field to go back to work. Comes out throwing on first down. Pulls it in. It's Hogan. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. The play-action fake. Got him downfield. Offense on the move. A big play there. Gets it to the 30. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time. Spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense. Understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. They made the defense pay with that last big chunk of yardage. Now first and 10 from the 30. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Wants to throw on first down. Right down the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they'll move the chains with the first down, but that might be it for the third quarter. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. They've hit him with back-to-back -back chunk plays. Now it's first and goal. He'll just keep slinging it. He makes a grab, and they're able to make the tackle. Boy, if that first down play was any indication, they might walk this thing in on second and goal. Power ahead, and he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Falcons. The best running backs are the guys that can just sniff out the end zone. That running back showed you all of his freakish ability on that play.
Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Splits those uprights right in half. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And it was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. Guys, let's see what Toledo can get done on offense this time. After giving up that last touchdown, they still got the lead, but now feeling a little bit of pressure to answer with one of their own, David. And it gets a little bit tight. Listen, we're getting later in the ball game. This offense punted last time. They got to find a few plays, Palmer, that they really love here. Steal some momentum back in this ball game. They do, David. And after watching their defense just get gashed down the field that last drive, the dream drive for this offense would be to matriculate the ball down the field, eat up some clock, and finish it off with a touchdown. He'll come out throwing on first down. Finds his man. It's Stevens. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four-down territory. Here's third and short. Quarterback on the keeper. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Off play action on first down. Throwing right. It's complete. Finally brought down at the 31. It's a pickup of 15 yards on the play, and they've got a first down. Love the play call offensively because you've got the lead. The defense expects you to run the ball. You just did it the previous play, so there you dial up play action, set up an easy throw, and you keep the clock ticking. Looking for a man. It's Gleason. Throws to the wideout. This will be picked off, maybe just the turning point they needed. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. Look, big-time playmakers make big plays in big games. And that guy needed to make that interception at this critical juncture of the game. There's still time for them to go out and win it. Could that be the play that sparks this team? Bowling Green has it back. The Falcon offense will go to work. Looking for space. It's Stewart. Pretty good job of running to get two there to the 32. After picking up a couple at second and eight. He's looking to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. I like the idea by the quarterback there. You're trying to get this first down, so you find the tight end, see if he can make a guy miss or shake a tackle. Not able to get it done. Fires to the wideout. And this is going to be incomplete on third. The Falcons send out the punt unit. Well, what that punt lacked in height, it made up for by being short. He was working his way toward midfield, but they'll stop him at the 46-yard line. Let's see what this offense has dialed up this time. He'll keep it himself. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. Give to the running back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Line is set on third down. To the ground to try to pick up the first. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. And the Rockets will bring the punt team onto the field. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. On the move. They'll get him on the ground after a pickup of three to the 28. 
After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Give to the back. A run up the middle is stuffed for no gain. A little less room to work with now. The ball's at the 28, and it's third and long. Looking to move the chains. They throw it complete to the left. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. This field goal unit getting some serious run. They've already been out there three times. A kicker will try it again. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And now the lead is extended a little far. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Bowling Green has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. Line getting set on second down. Dropping back, it's Bazelak. Unloads to the wideout. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Well, that's another completion. This quarterback's on fire. I get it. He's thrown for over 200 yards in this game, but it's because he's got people helping him out. How about that incredible job diving out, stretching out, and hauling that pass in. Quarterbacks love it when they don't have to be perfect every time they throw the football. And this group of receivers, they are helping out their QB1. And the Falcons with the first and 10. Used to play fake, now to throw. Fires to the wide out. He's got an open man. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bowling Green! Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being carved. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We gotta figure something out. We gotta try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it up with the final 30 yards coming courtesy of that touchdown pass. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Toledo has the ball. Here comes the offense. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, and I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack. Get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. A quick completion to the left, looking for the first down. He's going to have enough to pick up the first down as they stop him at the 33-yard line. They'll go to the counter play. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And now on second down for this offense. From the gun, running back gets to give. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. The Rockets line up to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stopped. Bowling Green has it back. The Falcon offense will go to work. Wide out in motion. 
He's flying by and gets it on the jet sweep. You got to give kudos to this defense. They are so well coached up. How about the awareness and the ability to play with great eye discipline? They located the football. They located that receiver on the jet sweep and were able to make the tackle. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football and now they face third down. He's open on the right. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one and it'll be a first down. He's looking to throw it. Feeling some heat. The offense coughs it up. Oh, and he gets it back, so you can file that one under. Could have been worse. And listen, quarterbacks run more nowadays, and we see more of it, but they do have a tendency, because they are a quarterback, to cough it up a little bit. But how about the man? He said, I got this, and jumps back on it, makes sure he covers that thing up so he didn't make a bad play for his offense. The drive continues after that fumble scare sent the offensive coordinator's blood pressure into orbit. Motion from the offense. Wants to throw. It's Bazelak. Makes the grab over the middle. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. He's got it. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. They try to pop a run on the draw. And he's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage by the big defensive tackle. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. They'll run play action. Trying to get to him. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. Quite a bit of work to do on third down from the 23, and this D would love to force a field goal try. From the gun, wants to pass. Puck lets it fly deep downfield. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, BG! So they get that score that they so desperately needed, and now they've got a chance to pull this one out. Defense has got to give them a chance. The defense needs to get the ball back to them quickly so they can march down the field and try and score and narrow the gap again. This offense, they have the playmakers to come back and win this football game. They're going to need some help from the defense. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. They march 72 yards, and they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Off the play fake. They're trying to get to it. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. And I think if you're the head coach here, you, you've kind of got mixed reviews on your passing attack so far because, yes, you've thrown for a bunch of yards and you've thrown a couple touchdowns, but you've also given up four sacks now. Pass protection has not been great, even though they've got the lead in this game. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Zings it complete to the right. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. And another big game for this offense. They are putting explosive pass after explosive pass up in this one. 
Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. To the air on first down. Makes his connection. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking for space. It's y'all. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Here on third down for this offense. From the gun. Wants to pass. Short throw to the sideline is complete, and he's out of bounds after picking up a couple. And the Rockets will call on their punt team. He won't be able to return this one as it goes out of bounds. Bowling Green has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. This is a game of swings and momentum, and a great opportunity here after scoring on the last drive getting a stop and now you have the football back they're playing well right now in all three phases and they're complementing each other so now david it's up to the offense here it's up to this quarterback to lead this offense down the field to get a score yeah and just stay aggressive to, to understand we've had success we got this going the right way now i don't need to change anything go back to your go-to plays that's now got you some momentum back in your favor not much working there it'll be second and nine Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Come to the line at the 42, facing a third and short. Scanning the field, it's Basilak. He's got the tight end. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. The Falcons are on the move. Takes a handoff and he's going right. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. He'll try to pop the draw. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run what they would give to help their kicker out with a few yards on third down. From here, it would be a 55-yarder. Throws to the wideout. What a job to lay out and make the catch. And the Falcons getting set on first and 10. He wants to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Patterson. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. So now the opportunity with a touchdown to take the lead. The snap sets up the throw. He got it. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Trying to barge in. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. A huge chance for points here on third and goal, and if they can get it in, we might have ourselves a finish. They're going to run it. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. This game will come down to this. A field goal try to save them. Oh, he missed it. No good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. The Rockets offense is back on the field. So we've got a tight spot here, David. They'd love to run out the clock, but all those timeouts staring at them. Man, they got three timeouts on defense, but I know a first down ends this football game. So I got to get my guys physical, ready to roll. 
Yeah, because you know this defense is going to be playing the run. They're going to be loading the box, trying to get tackles, using their timeouts to get the football back. So this is going to come down to who's better in the trenches. Calling a timeout here, you have to avoid making a mistake in this situation. To the air, it's Gleason. It's complete to the left. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Smart move to keep it on the ground. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. The defense calls the timeout their second of the day as they try to get their act together. Trying to move them on the counter. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Here on third down. They'll try to get it through the air. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. The Rockets will punt it away on fourth down. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. Bowling Green has it back. The Falcon offense will go to work. This is everything you could hope for in a rivalry game like this. Close game, waning moments, history waiting to be made, guys. And it's moments like this why you come and play for these two schools, right? To play in a game like this, in a rivalry like this, in a situation, David, game on the line late. Who's going to take it? And you know when you make this play, you're immortalized. With this kind of rivalry, these are the highlights they'll be showing for years. Everybody will be like, I remember when so-and-so made that play against... He tosses one high and deep down the left side. He's got it inside the 15. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets him 30-plus. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. They just changed the dynamic of this possession in a heartbeat, and now it's first and 10 from inside the red zone. Trying to cap this drive with a pass. Looking to the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons! They move on top here in the fourth. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space on the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Guys, let's see what Toledo can get done on offense this time. These are the games. These are the moments. This is the opportunity for the finish that people remember in rivalries like this one. And those highlights that are shown for years and years to come. These big time moments, Palmer, coming down to the wire, who steps up and makes the big time play. And this is why you lift the weights in the offseason. This is why you do all the gassers and all the sprints for moments like this. Game on the line in one of the biggest games of the year. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away and they've got to push the ball down the field. Looking down the middle. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. He's going up top here late in the game. Well, the defense finally showing some life there. It's been tough sledding, too, because this offense has been lighting them up through the air, but a nice individual effort that time forcing the incompletion. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. On the ground with the counter. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. The defense uses their second timeout of the half as they try to get their act together. 
Don't want to risk anything here. The quarterback takes a knee. 